what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel now look at what we have here we have the square root of five the square root of five the square root of five equal to 125 to the power of x and we are to look for the value of x so let's write this down so we have the square root of five the square root of five and the square root of five equal to 125 to the power x so what is the first thing we do when we are faced with a question like this well that's easy it's just for us to remove this square root here this first square root you see here so how do we remove it is by taking the square of both sides are you seeing that very good so let's take the square of both sides now see what is that going to happen to this square root the square here is going to cancel off the square root so that I have 5 square root of 5 and then lastly the square root of what 5 equal to now I've got 125 here and you know from indices powers do multiply so what do I mean I mean whenever I have a base let's say a and this is raised to a power of m and that this again is raised to a power of n indices said take the base which is a and multiply the powers so m times n so we see that powers do multiply so that means the power here which is x is going to be multiplying the two so x times 2 gives 2x are you seeing that very good now there are other square roots here we can go to the next step by also taking the square of both sides so i'll take the square of the left hand side i'll also take the square of the right hand side now notice this power here affects this five it also affects the square root so that means i'll be raising this five to the power of two very good because this power affects the five so, and the powers will affect the square root. That means square root can cancel off the square, right? So, leaving behind the 5 root 5. So, times 5 root 5. That is it. Equal to, now watch carefully. Like we said, powers do multiply. So, the power here, 2x, is going to be multiplying the 2 outside. So, I have the base, which is 125. Now, 2x times 2 will be giving you 4x. Very good. So you can see that this is becoming easier. Now, the next step is to also do the same thing, to take the square of both sides. So let's do that real quick. So I'm going to be taking the square of the left-hand side, and I'll also be taking the square of the right-hand side. Like I said, this power, this power here affects this value here the power also affects this value and it also affects this square root so let's go with the first one so remember this is a power and this is a power what powers do is that they multiply that means this two here is going to be multiplying this two so i'll be having five to power two times two gives you what four are you seeing that very good times now 5 will be raised to power 2 so 5 will be raised to power 2 now this square root will be cancelled by this square so the square cancels off the square root leaving behind 5 so times 5 equal to now the base here is 125 and now watch carefully 4x which is a power is going to be multiplying this power outside so 4x times 2 will be giving you 8x are you seeing that very good so now this thing is looking more interesting because we are close to our final answer now this five here is carrying a power of four this five here is carrying a power of two this five here is carrying an invisible power of one so from indices i'm going to be referring us back to indices whenever i have a base a raised to power m times the same base you can see that the base here and the, the base here are the same, right? But this base is carrying a power of n. 
as long as they are multiplying, multiplication, and the bays are the same, in this it says, take one of the bays and add the power. So M plus N. You can only add powers when it is multiplication. Now notice, this five, this is five and this is five, and they are all multiplying. So from indices, I'm going to be taking one of the five, which is five, then I'll add the power. So four plus two plus one. Are you seeing that? Very good. Equal to, now since I have five on the left hand side, I can raise five to a power to give me 125. So five to power three is going to give me 125. Then I'm going to be raising this to the power of 8x. So power of 8x. Are you seeing it? Very good. So this becomes 5 to the power of 4 plus 2 plus 1 is going to give you 7. Equal to, now I'm going to be writing the base first, 5. Now 3 times 8x. Powers multiply, right? Very good. So 3 times 8x is going to give you 24x. Now, the bays are equal. So, whenever the bays are equal, we equate powers. So, let's equate powers. The power on the left is 7, and the power on the right is 24x. And since I am looking for the value of x, I have to divide both sides by the coefficient of x. So, I'll divide the right hand side by 24. I will also divide the left hand side by 24. Now watch, 24 will have to go with 24. Leaving behind x equal to 7 over 24. Are you seeing that? Very good, very good, very easy, easy to get. I believe that when you follow this process that I just followed and you see a question like this and applied it to it, I tell you, you will always have your answer. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.